Jimmy, a big 3-2 overtime win for your team. Uh, before we get to the overtime goal, just want to get your thoughts on the game overall. Uh, I think we battled uh, just like we do usually, and uh, we we had some we had some good kills, and that was huge for us. And uh, also, uh, we were three at one point in the back end, and these guys just kept us in the game. And also, Birdie did did what he does usually. Just uh, it was great for us, so it was good. Game. Let's talk about that penalty kill for a second. Eight for eight. I mean, a couple of abbreviated ones in there, but this is the fifth rank penalty or power play, excuse me, in the American Hockey League. So, what led to so much success down a man here today? Uh, I think we've we've been pretty good all year, um, and Birdie obviously made some huge saves for us. So, um, yeah, we. I think it, every time we we do a game and we we kill like that, it gives us confidence, and we just keep rolling with it. So. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with our, with our penalty kill for sure. When Mikhail Burden's rolling like he is right now, what kind of confidence does that give the team? Oh, it's just, uh, <laughs> just gives us great confidence. We, it's just that you know, you know, like you, you, you won't get a bad goal going in. And that's, that's the best thing for, for a team, you know, like when, when there's a bad goal going in, it's just, it, you, you don't want that to happen, but it, it just, the, the guys are just, you know, not not playing the same afterwards. So uh, yeah, when he's when he's in net like this, and it gives us so much confidence, and we can work better in front of him. Overtime rolls around. You get the puck uh, after hopping on the ice. And uh, what did you see on that goal to to get you that opening to get in there? Honestly, I just uh, I took a look at the blue line there, and I saw I had a chance. So I just buried buried my head and went in the net. And I don't know, I blacked out. <laughs> so I can't really tell you, but uh, yeah, it felt good and. Especially after a good, good team effort like that, it's just, it's just, it was just awesome. As the captain of the team, what's it mean to you to get that big goal for your guys? Uh, I don't know. I like to contribute once in a while, but uh, it's just because we, we battled so hard in that game and uh, we, we, did, we deserved that, that game, so it's, it, just felt, it just felt right. After so much change between the two games, I mean, even on the back end, you had three guys uh, swap out. And then, as you mentioned, you were missing guys due to injury throughout the contest. I, when you look at this team, is it almost becoming just expected that you'll find a way to get it done? Yeah, because obviously we did it before. And um, it's just at this point with, with where we are as a team, and uh, it, we just need to find a way to win. Like, we can't, we can't lose games especially when they're on the line like this when we, we, we have to bear down and um, yeah I'm just so happy with the, the team we have and our uh, competitiveness too is just to the roof so I, that's that's you know in teams sometimes you have skilled player and you don't have that uh, that mindset of working hard and stuff and but here it's the exact opposite like we're, we're we don't have that many skilled guys but uh, we have heart and uh, that's the way we, we, we play, and that's, that's how we win. Tonight's win wasn't without adversity. Obviously, Curtis McKenzie scores with 0 0.1 left on the clock. And What's the message to the bench? What are you guys saying after something like that to, to get refocused and prepared for overtime? Yeah, I'm going to sound like a broken record there, but uh, just, just the way the, the game went and the way we work. And it's just like we get... We, 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 we think we have a chance to win every, every night and um, of course that was, that was a huge, huge blow at the end like this, but we still have five minutes to, to win the game and, and we, we still have shootouts so we can't, we can't let go and um, that's, that's what we did tonight. Last one before I let you go, you've got the Texas Stars once again, third game in a row. How do you make it three in a row over them in this set? Uh, they're a really hard team to play against. All these games have been really tight and uh, it's really physical and stuff. They're they're not gonna want us to to, to win that game for sure. So uh, yeah, we, we, we gotta come prepared like we're playing any other team and work the same way we do every night. And uh, that's the way we're gonna approach it.